What's up guys, Shotbuck here and today my lads I'm going to be showing you all a quick and easy way to amass 9 task points from Grizzly Adams for the Poor and First Society in only a little over an hour's game time, making a good dent into that 100 that you're required to have before you can begin the demon task, which will eventually allow you to start the demon oak quest. Anyway, the task that we should be covering today is the Carnifilla task, and the spawn that we should be doing this in is the Taquanda Laboratory. Bring a stealth ring for the journey also so that the jungle creatures don't pester you as you traverse the distance, as they can get quite annoying at times. Now I know this all sounds too good to be true, right? Nine points and only an hour's work? Well it is, this all comes with a slight catch I'm afraid, and it's that you have to be below level 50 to do this. If you're above that, then I'm sorry boys, but you've missed your chance. Also, a little pro tip for you, if you need to take a break while hunting here, you can levitate up this ledge to be safe from any creatures. Though be aware, it isn't quite a protection zone, so PvP players be wary when going AFK. Once you're good to go, make your way down the hole twice to minus two, and you'll be in the spawn. We only need 150 to complete the task for Grizzly Adams, which believe me, flies by, especially when playing as either mage vocation. So sorry paladins and knights, this might take a while longer for you, but not by a lot. It will mostly depend on your character's skill levels though. As you can see, the character I'm using's magic level is relatively low, so any of you that have makers with a magic level above 60 or so will have a good time here, trust me. Carnifillers suffer from a 20% weakness to, you guessed it, fire spells, so great fireball runes are going to be your greatest asset here without a doubt, though flame strike will be just as useful to you while sorting out any strays that manage to avoid a GFB or two. After having first cleared the main floor by working your way around the spawn in a clockwise manner, make your way to the ladder in the centre of the room, taking you to the cave's lowest level. Once in minus three, this is where you'll find the most amount of creatures bundled together at once. With a little bit of kiting and a well-placed GFB or two, you'll make short work of this floor, but you may want to head north first and clear the mutated humans to better give the monsters in the upper floor time to respawn, else you'll end up with a bit of downtime with nothing else to kill. Causing this rotation method to take longer than needed, and we don't want that now do we, as the whole point is to get this done as quickly as possible. As we are talking about kiting, it should be known that these creatures can give a pretty nasty paralyze along with a hard hitting ranged attack, so be careful not to bite off more than you can chew when down here, as it could result in a one way trip to temple. The ranged attack that they have access to is earth based, so bringing a terror set wouldn't be a bad idea but it is entirely up to you at the end of the day. Because it doesn't take too long to complete the task here, supplies don't need to be over the top. Just a modest 300 GFB is all I took while hunting here each time, capping out the rest with manners because why not really. Now you've made your way back to the ladder, simply go back up into minus one and take care of the mutated humans, giving the floor more chance to respawn below, and then simply repeat until the task is complete. I was able to finish the full 150 necessary kills in under 20 minutes each time when doing this task, never really stopping to pick up loot because frankly they suck for money so don't waste your time. While they do have a chance to drop a carrot on a stick, its drop rate is a staggeringly low 0.01%, so I wouldn't hold out much hope for that, but then again we aren't really here for loot are we? Although in terms of EXP, if you are expecting something amazing here, you won't be blown away, but also you won't be let down either, with it giving you a humble 150k an hour. Though, this was filmed during double EXP over the Christmas period, hence why my numbers are higher, but we're getting sidetracked here, we're here for the kills and to get the points, and also the opportunity to kill their boss, Deathbind, which will probably be covered in another video yet to come guys, so don't worry. Once you've hit 150 kills guys, head back to Grizzly Adams, hand in the task and go kill the boss, because the task is waiting to be completed another two times yet. And who knows, you may even be able to beat your previous time too if you now knowing the spawn better of course, and provided nobody else comes and interrupts you whilst you hunt. Anyway, here it is, after a 20 minute hunt here I managed to rack up a kill count of 176 carnifillers. Which more than covered the task requirement, but I got a little carried away while filming it seems. Anyway guys, best of luck to you all in smashing out this task in under an hour. Let me know how it goes for you if you decide to give it a try for yourselves, and I'll be back with another video real soon guys, so until then, take care of yourselves, Bye bye